we did with the Drobo 5D is we started from the ground up and we built an entirely new Drobo platform. So while the outside shell looks very similar, the inside is, is completely new and different from the ground up. Whether that's the new processor architecture, memory architecture, connectivity, USB 3 and 2 Thunderbolt ports that allow you to not only have direct connectivity to the Drobo, but also allow you to daisy chain additional Thunderbolt devices based on uh, the way you have your, your workstation and your environment set up. So one of the cool features about the Drobo 5D is that there's a new bay underneath the unit on the bottom side of the unit we call the Drobo Accelerator Bay. The Drobo Accelerator Bay takes a new type of flash, it's called an mSATA SSD, and you're able to add that to the Drobo. It's like adding memory in your laptop, and what it does is it just boosts the overall performance of the Drobo. In a lot of, uh, in a lot of more consumer-focused arrays, it's thought of by some that it's okay to lose some data. With the Drobo, we, we don't feel so. We have a battery inside the Drobo. Then the PowerFill event, it actually protects everything that's in memory. So the 5D uh, is primarily intended for media creators. We've really, that's been our target audience uh, when designing this new product from the ground up. People that require not only high capacity storage, but also high performance storage to meet their requirements when it comes to not only ingesting assets, but editing them in place, or even storing them long term. We're in a transition period where the industry is slowly moving from spinning magnetic hard disk drives to solid state drives and flash media. Drobo's always been flexible with drive capacities. You can mix different drive sizes. Now you're not only able to do that, but you're also able to mix different types of drives with, with flash and SSDs right alongside your, side your hard disk drives. Drobo 5D allows you to do that.